Welcome back guys, today I have a new interesting package and... But before we talk about the package I have, way too many of you guys haven't subscribed yet. So please, 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 can you press the subscribe button now? Yes? No? Please? Yeah, thank you. And don't forget to press the notification button if you want notification. And give me a big thumbs up in the end of the video if you really like the content or if you want to see more because that encourages me to do more videos. This is the package. As you can see, it comes from jlcpcb.com, kind of, at least the content is from there. So let us open this up and see what it contains. Here we have it. Looks like a little bit of an extra here. Ah! That's the new version of the cell module itself, the 4.4 version. Cool. And here we have it. The new controller board 4.2. It's a quite a difference to comparing to the old one, the 4.0. And as you can see, the, the, the main difference here is basically what it can do and the outputs it can utilize. Because this board here is first of all built for the ESP8266, even though you can run the ESP32. As you can see here, this one is made for the ESP32 and not the ESP8266, and that's because the ESP32 has so much more input outputs. For instance, it have already built in support for the CAN bus and the RS-485 parts and it can control a lot more than the ASP8266 can do even though you would pick the ESP8266 that have more inputs outputs it will be an joy to try this out and as you can see here we are RS-485 and we have the ISP programming header to program the cell modules itself we have some I.O. pins, the CAN bus, and we have the RX-TX, both for the cell modules, but also for other parts. So that's really nice as well. This is a dual port. We have an SD card here, so we can log data, like logging events and stuff like that. And that is one crucial function that should exist on every BMS. Some kind of relays here, so of course, as well, and you will have a solid state relay if you want that as well. And that one can fit here. There is a lot of things that you can do with this board out of the box. The header pin that you see here in this row here adds a big nice touch screen directly onto the board. With that said, you don't have to populate all the things. You can populate the things that you need for the moment. Like, if you don't need a screen and SD card, you don't have to populate it and use them. So, that's real neat. And by looking at the cell module here, you can see the difference. It's quite a difference in size. And... It's also a little bit of difference in terms of what's included on them. Like the 4.4 have a better protection for the input for the power. Um, it also have this temperature sensor in the end here that you can cut off and solder wires to. And make it possible to add your own temperature sensor on the side. And that's also a neat little feature. A little bit bigger resistors as well. So I'm guessing this one based on the layout and it's cut apart here that this one can take a little bit more heat and actually balance a little bit more than this one can before it gets too hot. This one costs a tiny little bit more so unless you need those features you can actually go with this board instead. If you wonder what I'm going to do with this look over there. There is some batteries that is going to be used for it. And there we have roughly 20 kilowatt hours of batteries that will be used for this. And I also have even more batteries that I should be incorporating with, with the uh, DIY BMS. And as you can see here, I have quite a few cell modules left. Um, and I have another 100 on order. And I also have another 28 here. So if you're big and quick at math, you now realize what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to max this out in very very short amount of time. See what it can do, how it will perform. And of course my plan is to use it because it is open source. So 
is easily available in terms of adding more code or doing changes or asking for requests and I hope this will be a really game changer to be honest because it has built in web interface you can run it on your own you don't need any cloud you don't need anything but you also need to be aware of that this is a DIY solution so DIY but I like it and if you want to see more of what you can do with this or if you have a request on what you want me to see to do with this please feel free to comment down below and to be honest so many people watch my videos but so few of you guys actually are subscribed so unless you are subscribed now please press the subscribe button down below and make sure to ping the notification button and thumbs up if you like this video and also give me a comment it's enough to say blah if you want that but anyways thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye